Hey, what's going on, guys? My name is Alexei, and welcome back to Java Program. So, as you can see, I deleted all of those codes from last episode because in this episode it will be a little bit harder. I want to show you uh, how to use booleans, while loops, and how to use uh, also all of booleans and everything with while and integers with while. So. Uh, I maybe you will know something but let's begin so basically what is boolean boolean is just a value of true or false for example um, I can just say boolean uh, uh, are carrots uh, healthy equals false and then I created boolean which is called are carrots healthy and um, so basically that's it so now uh, you can just this is basically boolean so you can also like integers you don't have to give them first um, value of them just type boolean for example are donuts healthy so we created boolean which doesn't have a value so here we can also give here um, I know just give here are donuts healthy equals true we cannot uh, this is very simple but when I uh, in some of the episodes when I teach you uh, the what is it called um, methods we are gonna use uh, those booleans much more and more. So, just say this. Okay, so uh, you can just do this if uh, and sorry not if and here's something with booleans which is very good. So just type are carrots ready uh, then equals equals to equals to true then we want here to do something so are carrots it's not ready are carrots healthy sorry so now we can just work with this so as you can see in those warnings and this is warning because uh, uh, it's basically just because we don't know where we're gonna use it, so I'm gonna just create a comment for them to make that no errors. Here in this, uh, we we said are carrots healthy? If are carrots healthy equals equals to true, then we want to system that are the print line one um, one there go. Um, dot and here carrots. Just carrots. So if I run that my program, it will do nothing because, as you can see, carrots are aren't healthy. So this equals equals true and equals equals to false uh, is kind of boring. So here's false, and here is um yeah. So and uh, you remember in the last episode when I told you. Um, that uh, with exclamation marks. So if you just type if are carrots healthy, then Java will uh, first see if this is correct or true. And if you want to say is if not, we just give here. So this will work for our so carrots because if not are carrots healthy, so that means if are carrots healthy, not true. So. It, and then because that statement is correct, it gonna create this here just system the out print line. With this you can also work with the more sub, just very simple. And also I want to show you uh, how what is while loop. So uh, while loop is very simple. I'm gonna delete all of this because we don't gonna need it. So. Uh, you for while loop as I like to make it. Um, this is very simple. Just like boolean, boolean, uh, while. Just like boolean. No, uh, you 
can have it while. Um, boolean while loop equals to true. So we created a boolean called while loop. So to create while loop, just type while. So I can just type while loop. And here is it. So, uh, sorry, a uh, while. Okay, so what I created here is um, while while loop is equals to true, then it's gonna always update this. Just updating this. So we can also give here to be if um, something uh, more. So I'm gonna show you for some examples. So here while this is correct, then we I'm gonna also create a small integer here. I just uh, W integer W. So we want to create here that uh, just uh, just like uh, uh, okay still and while. So when we run this, it's going to be always just printing still and while, and that's basically it. But this is endless, so I. This is a small way how to make it um, to not be endless. So in while loop, it's going to always print this. And before that, we want to type here um, uh, uh, this w plus plus. That will be that uh, w is always going to be. Wait. Oh yeah, uh, sorry, you have to give here w equals to 0 and then just to, uh, this will basically just make it more and more, so I can just show you this, so this is basically the value, is going to be always just 1, for some reason, so, um, mm, <laughs> yep. So this is how why is it going to be working. So if I run this, okay, so I want to terminate this. Terminated. Okay, so um with this uh, how to make it not endless. So you don't have to do this in while, but you can just do it here. I did it here, so let me just try this. So uh in uh while ender equals to zero. Uh, while ender plus plus. Wait, um, can we use in here while uh, this while ender? Can we use it in here? Yep, we can. So we want the while ender to be. Uh, plus plus one because we want to always have it and now and just check something while ender so let me just see how this and yeah this is working so this is basically going to give us random numbers in here so uh, to create while ender um okay so this will work Ah, stop. Terminated here. So now uh, we want to make here just uh, here uh, under this. You want to give here if statement. So if while ender so uh, bigger or equals to make sure it put bigger or equals to. And now what is the maximum? So let's give here uh, nine nine nine. No, that would be. Stupid. Four, five, eight, seven, two, two, three, four, five. Okay. Then what we want is, yeah, it's a much bigger number. Okay, so this will work. Seven. One. Yeah. Nine. This will work. I'm gonna basically just modify this a little bit more. So, if while ender, which is always going to update, is bigger than this, we want to give here while loop 
equals false. And here I'm gonna create also one more. So while uh, not while loop, then we want to just here just type um, I know. <laughs> just like this. Um, because uh, we want to first set this. Uh, just like System out the print line uh, here. Um, while loop and then. Oh, sorry. You can do this, but it will be still while loop. But there is much better ways to do this with if statements. So just that here. Sorry, I made mistakes. My wrong. If um, just up here. Uh, while loop is equal to equals to false then we want to system the out the print line while loop stop just like this so when we run this it's going to be being while and uh it's working yep and when we reach the when while ender reaches its maximum it will be stopped. But it will be much harder. So, um, let's give it a little bit more, more, less number. Plus, enter number. while ender so this will always update and when you reach number maximum it's going to be much better so our maximum is very high number and maybe we are still in wait um For some reason, this won't work. Um, <laughs> Let's see now. I hope that this will work. I mean, I don't get it. Why? Why is this not working? Oh yeah, now it works. So uh, this if statement when it's going to be false and it, it will just say while loop stopped. So this is basically guys how you can use booleans with programming and while loops also. There is also do while which is a little bit stupid. The basic uh, I'm gonna show you the, in the second tutorial. Uh, it is going to be uh, tutorial number five. It will be for do while and double, so integers and doubles. So, thank you guys for watching, and I'm gonna see you next time. Goodbye.